Note to self, record these in the beginning of the day rather than at the end. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I teach third grade in Central California. And today is the first week of school, which means first week teacher outfits. Sorry. But yeah, seeing us today is Monday. This is outfit number one. Of course, it is freezing in here, so I have a sweater. This is my white sweater that I always use, cropped and barrel. This is from Target. And then my dress. My dress is from She and okay, let me take this off. So masks. I'm just letting you know right now, majority of the clothes this week are going to be from She in because I just did a pretty big haul. So let me bring it down a little bit. Here is my first day of school dress. This was $20 from Shein. It already naturally has a cinched waist, but then the tie just kind of helps that and brings some texture to it. They are more so like dotted lines rather than polka dots. And it is semi low cut. So I like it because it's not really given too much, but it's still nice and dainty. And the length is a really good length. It goes down to kind of just past your knees, kind of high half. Okay, so like I said, this was $20 from Shein. And shipping was rather quick. I would say it took about two weeks when normally I hear sites like this tend to take a month or two. Well, that was Monday's outfit, first day of school. I'm exhausted and gonna go home and rest up for tomorrow. So I'll see you then, day two. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. Notice I said good morning cause I did not wait till the end of the day. Otherwise these curls would be more dead than they are right now. <laughs> All right, day two. So this shirt I'm pretty sure I got from Target and then the skirt is from Shein. This was $15 and it's so thin and cool, but not thin as in see-through, thin as in just like light and airy. And the only thing that can make the skirt better is if it had pockets. But yeah, so $15, I don't remember how much the shirt was. And then this necklace is from actually Victoria's Secret years ago. It's like if you spent X amount of money, you got an extra little thingamajig and that was that. Good morning, I can't believe it's Wednesday. It feels like it's already been two weeks <laughs> and it's only the first week of school. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but this brings you outfit number three. Yeah. So I got this skirt from Shein. It was $7, it has pockets. Kind of see like the pockets and the little tie. Super stretchy and light, but not see-through. So I actually got this skirt in a medium because I was afraid that it was going to be too tight if I got it in a small because I didn't want it like hugging everything. <laughs> so I got a medium and I'm glad I did because it feels comfortable now, but I think it would have been too tight for kiddos if I got a small. Yeah, but all my other skirts that you will see this week are a size small and I really like that it's simple so I can just tie it with a teacher shirt and call it good. A whole lot of learning going on. I've actually worn this in a prior outfit video. But yeah, oh, and then shoes. Oh, I'll need to bring it down. <laughs> Ignore my toes that aren't done. But my shoes are from Target. And scrunchie is actually a hair scarf, but because if you look closely, there's like little flowers. So I didn't want to throw too many patterns in it. So I just took the scrunchie part because it matches the blue. And I've got a lot of questions about Shein. Is it true to size? How long did it take to ship? Is it actually good quality? All that good stuff. So let me tell you right now that I've had a really good experience with Shein. Granted, I've only gotten swimsuits and then four skirts from them and a dress. And with that, I've liked every single piece. I found all of them to be true to size. I would normally get these clothes in a size small and they fit like they normally would. I also look at the size chart and I look at the pictures and comments down below just to make sure there's nothing abnormal going on. And I've had really good luck so far. As far as shipping, I've had pretty good luck with shipping. It tends to get here sooner than what it says in my experience. And then lastly, for quality, I would compare it to like Forever 21, H&M, that kind of stuff, which is perfect for me. I don't need anything super high quality because my style and everything changes so quickly that I would much rather have something cheap. That as long as it's not unraveling within the first three times I wear it, I think it's good, <laughs> so. Hello, editing Taylor here. I just wanna say real quick that I know I've gotten some people saying that they're kind of sketch as far as payment goes, like coincidentally all this stuff happens to bank accounts and whatnot after. I always pay through PayPal with websites like this. So I haven't had any problems, but I pay through PayPal. So when in doubt, PayPal. All right, well, that's Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm so tired. This is the longest week 
of my life. <sighs> Hello guys, happy Thursday. It is the end of the day. I was so tired this morning. I thought I was gonna pick it up and be more pumped in the evening. No, I am so tired. This is the longest week of my life. Here's outfit number four for Thursday. So skirt is from Shein, $7 once again, but this one does not have pockets. And this one feels like a little thicker material. This one's a size small, the stripe was in a medium and it just feels a little bigger, like longer. But I wish it had pockets like the other one. Same old drawstring, super cute and comfy. Again, $7. And then this is from York & Company. I've worn this in a couple of my other outfit videos. And yeah, this is probably double, maybe even triple the price of this skirt. And I love this skirt. Um, What else? Shoes. I actually have on some cute shoes today, so let me show you. And my shoes have cute little bows on them. Ignore my toes, I need to get a pedicure. But yeah. I will find out where I got the shoes and put them in the description down below or probably have a little pop-up thing that says where I got them. Okay, so that is outfit number four for Thursday. I'll see you guys tomorrow, Friday. Happy Friday. Bet you didn't expect to see me jumping in this morning. And fun fact, yesterday I was so tired, right? I actually didn't end up getting home till 10, 30 or 11. Long story, go watch my vlog from first week. I'm still more energetic today than I was yesterday. I don't know how that works. I have a theory though. I think that my exhaustion has just turned into pure delusion and I'm just like chilling in my own little world having a good time. But that's besides the point, actually probably exactly on point. Let's get to the outfits because this is an outfit video. <laughs> All right, today is Friday. Despite the fact that I wanted a super cute, elaborate outfit to show you guys today because this is an outfit video, I was too tired to do such a thing. So we got Fabletics leggings with a little, a little tie thing because they are super soft and just nice and I feel like I need to be like compressed to keep the stress in. And I only really need to be fancy from the waist up because Zoom camera. So really, I still look fine. <laughs> this shirt is from Express. It is super soft and silky. I love these shirts specifically for leggings because one, it just makes it look fancier even though it's simple. And they're very long, so the back really covers the buttocks and leggings. I really like Fabletics leggings for school specifically because one, they're super comfy, they have pockets, and it's a material that I know I can count on to not be see-through, but yet still have cute little patterns and stuff to spice it up. And these leggings were actually on sale. So they're originally like 50 bucks, but they had a last minute sale so you could get buy one, get one free pretty much. So I ended up getting these ones and another one exactly the same without the little twisty thing. Hair scarf is from Forever 21. It is a little massive. Like I feel like it like overtakes my hair. It's pretty much as big as my face. One, I like it because it adds a pattern to something that is just solid and simple. Two, it goes with my super cute shoes. Okay, these shoes are from Target. They're super comfy. They have the little paddings in them, memory foam. Yeah, overall, very cute little bow. The point right here does kind of hurt my feet. So if we look at the back of my ankle, see the little red spot? But I brought my backups. <laughs> Because you always need to have backup teacher shoes. You just can't teach when your feet hurt. And luckily with this whole Zoom thing, I can take my shoes off and no one would know. Okay, I don't know where this energy came from because it's been non-existent for the last like two days. Oh, I have a fun accessory. My best friend got me this cute little teacher bag. It says Miss Flair with an apple. I'm assuming she got it from Etsy, but I love it and it goes perfect with my outfit. I bring this every day. This and my leather backpack every single day. So, quick review. Hair scarf is from Forever 21. Shirt is from Express. Leggings are from Fabletics. And shoes are from Target. So I'll put the link for all of this in the description down below. I'll try to do that for my other outfits, but it doesn't always go as planned. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and go home. Thank you for watching my Back to School Outfits video. If you liked it, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye guys.